So I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Okay, so longtime viewers of this channel would know of my opinion of Nikola Motors, and I tried to warn you guys about how this was a sketchy company a long time ago, and if you don't believe me, just go back and watch some of my older videos. I'll leave links down below in the description for those videos. But man, you gotta give me some credit for calling this one out super early, and for calling out Nikola's claims, and you know, they just don't add up, okay? So, uh, you would not believe the amount of hate though that I got from Nikola shareholders when I made that original video, and I gotta give it to you to commentators because uh, they're super creative with coming up with insults. Uh, one person in the comment section called me a Goldman Sachs analyst wannabe, uh, which I guess could be kind of accurate. I did apply for some internships at Goldman Sachs and I was rejected for all of them. So maybe I'll give them that one. But then you have some people in the comments basically accusing me of not doing research before talking about Nikola. And I gotta say to those people, I have to disagree with you on this one because I did do my research on Nikola. Did you? Okay, but let's start from the beginning though for those of you who might not be completely caught up. So, Nikola Motors is this company that's based out of Arizona that claims that they can electrify the future of freight transportation with their fleet of Class A semi-trucks that are being powered by hydrogen. And then the sketchy stuff kind of started rolling in right from the beginning. So on their latest earnings report, the company reported revenues of only $36,000, all of which came from installing solar panels on executive chairman uh, Trevor Milton's roof. Uh, so, you know, keep in mind that this is like a $12 billion company in terms of valuation. So the fact that they made $36,000, not $36 million, by the way, $36,000 in a quarter is just, it's laughable. All of it came from installing some solar panels, which is like not even what they do. Uh, anyways, uh, so the groundbreaking ceremony they have for the factory that they're supposed to build in Arizona, uh, basically a month later, somebody drove to the area where they're supposed to build the factory and they haven't started building yet, right? It's just... It's just like a field. It's just basically a pile of dirt. And as if that wasn't enough red flags already, recently a firm named Hindenburg Research published a report saying that Nikola was basically a fraud, allegedly. Uh, and let me read you some of the highlights of the report and you can make up your own mind, okay? Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna avoid adding my own opinions to it just yet. So here are some of Hindenburg's claims. So Hindenburg says, we reveal how in the face of growing skepticism over the functionality of his trucks, Nikola staged a video called Nikola One in Motion, which showed the semi-truck cruising at a road at a high rate of speed. Our investigation of the site and text messages from a former employee revealed that the video was an elaborate ruse. Nikola had the truck towed up on top of a hill on a remote stretch of road and simply filmed it rolling down a hill. So basically they were saying how Nikola's truck didn't even work. It was just basically cruising down the road in neutral. So anyways, let's go back to reading the report highlights. Uh, so in October, 2019, Nikola announced that it would revolutionize the battery industry. And this was to be done through a pending acquisition. But the deal fell through when Nikola realized, A, the technology was vaporware, and two, the president of the battery company that had been indicted earlier over allegations that he conned NASA by using his expense account to procure numerous, and I'm not gonna say that word just because I don't wanna get demonetized, but you guys can read the report, right? It's, uh, it's pretty funny, actually. But the funniest part has actually gotta be the one about Trevor Milton's brother, and let me read you this, right? So, uh, Trevor Milton has appointed his brother, Travis, to Director of Hydrogen Production and Infrastructure to oversee this critical part of the business. Travis's prior experience looks largely to have consisted of pouring concrete driveways and subcontractor work on home renovations in Hawaii. So, you know, that's absolutely hilarious how the management team is just giving jobs to people that have absolutely no experience and shouldn't be having those jobs in the first place, right? So, couple more. Claims of owning energy producing assets is not new for Nikola. Trevor claims that Nikola's headquarters has 3.5 megawatts of solar panels on its roof producing energy. Aerial photos of the roof and later media reports show that the supposed panels don't exist. Trevor claims that Nikola designs all key components in-house, but they appear to simply be buying or licensing them from third parties. One example we found was that Nikola actually buys inverters from a licensing company called Cascadia. In one video showing off its in-house inverters, Nikola concealed the Cascadia label with a piece of masking tape. 
absolutely wow like i don't even know what to say at this point right so i'll leave it there you get the point uh if you want to read the full report which i recommend you do i'll leave a link down below in the description for the full report uh but i just gotta say guys sometimes life is stranger than fiction who needs tv shows when you have reports like these being released so you know i don't know if anyone down in the comments is gonna defend nicola but in order to defend nicola you'd basically have to say that all of this is fake news, right? You literally have to like plug your ears and just say that all of this evidence is fake, uh, all of it's fake news. And to do that, you know, I guess if you want to do that, that's your right. But, uh, you know, I suggest you uh, reconsider your opinions. So after this report came out, everyone was kind of expecting Nicola to give a rebuttal or at least for them to say something about it, right? Or refute the claim somehow. But, uh, you know, actually Nicola did give a response to this and they gave a rebuttal and I'm putting rebuttal in air quotes because uh, you'll see what I mean in a sec, right? So uh, let me just read you some of Nicola's rebuttal. So Nicola, the company, refuted what it calls false and misleading statements, including one in which Hindenburg alleges that the 2016 Nicola one was not a real truck and was in fact a pusher. So in a response, Nicola stated that the Nicola one is a real truck that sits in Nicola's showroom. A pusher means a vehicle that was not designed to be moved by its own propulsion system. The Nikola 1 was in fact designed to be powered and driven by its own propulsion. Nikola states that the gearbox, batteries, inverters, power steering, suspension, infotainment, air disc brakes, plus high voltage air system were all functional. And, and here comes the big kicker, right? You guys gotta read this. However, it stated, as Nikola pivoted to the next generation of trucks, it ultimately decided not to invest additional resources into completing the process to make the Nikola 1 drive on its own propulsion. Holy smokes, guys. Like, okay, first of all, in my opinion, if a company, if you're a company that makes trucks, isn't it kind of important for the truck to, you know, drive itself? Like, I'm just saying, right? I don't even know what to say to this. I, I know I'm crazy, right? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Uh, so, you know, what do I know? I didn't do enough research on this, apparently. Uh, so let's read a bit more. Rolling down a big hill claim, Nikola says that a video of Nikola 1 prototype, which the short seller cited in his report as simply filmed rolling down a big hill, was distorted. It acknowledged that Nikola never stated the truck was driving under its own propulsion in the video, although the truck was designed to do just that, as described in a previous point. It went on to say that Nikola described this third-party video on the company's social media as in motion. It was never described as under its own propulsion or powertrain driven. Nikola investors who invested during this period in which the company was privately held knew the technical capability of the Nikola 1 at the time of their investment. Any reports intended to suggest that Nikola's trucks do not drive are erroneous and recent videos of Nikola trucks driving can be found here, said the company. Okay guys, I don't know if Nikola understands what the word rebuttal means, but that was not a rebuttal, okay? That was just, that was straight up not a rebuttal. So, you know, a rebuttal is when you like refute what the other person says. A rebuttal is not when you just literally admit what the other person says, right? Which is exactly what they've done right here, unless I'm going crazy. So, so I'm not going crazy, right? They just admitted what Hindenburg was claiming. They, they literally just admitted that the Nikola 1 did not drive itself. They just admitted that like they didn't want to put in investments into making the truck actually drive itself which is absolutely insane because you're a company that makes trucks so you know having a truck that can drive itself is kind of important uh again like this is uh <laughs> oh man well in any case we just got the news that the sec is investigating nicola for alleged fraud and i'm putting allegedly because i don't want to get sued but man like the evidence in my opinion is pretty damning uh, so if you're still going to hold Nikola shares at this point, I suggest that you literally reevaluate your entire life. Uh, so, you know, if you're going to hold Nikola shares at this point, there's two scenarios, right? Either you're right and everyone else is wrong and all this evidence is all fake news, right? So that's one scenario in which case you'd be right or you're going to lose a lot of money. Uh, so, you know, you're going to have to decide which scenario is more realistic. And to conclude, have you guys ever seen the movie Get Out? Great movie, highly recommended. I saw it a while ago. Highly recommended for everyone, especially for Nikola shareholders. Uh, so anyways, I'll leave the video here. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you like the series. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links down below in the description as always. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.